Everybody, this is Dave Nassie over here at Amps and Axes. This is your lick of the week, and let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be working off of a D chord, and we're going to combine a little bit of major and or minor pentatonic. So we're going to start off by moving like this through our shapes. We're going to start with a picked note on our C. We're going to slide, of course, from C to D. We're going to pluck our F. We're going to go back and pick our D. We're going to pluck our F, pick our G, and slide. our way up to that D. So essentially I'm kind of thinking of working from this guy to this guy, just as I get started. Now let's go that really slow. That's going to take us up to our A or the fifth of the chord, so... Kind of a reoccurring theme in our pattern here. That's going to take us up to the C note. That's a great place to stop for now. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to end up pulling off and sliding down to our F here. So. And that is going to take us from here back down to the D here. It's a great little lick. And again, I'm just kind of thinking of, uh, of course, where all my root notes are going to be. And that's kind of my point of reference as I go through this. Again, combining these forms of major or minor. I'm not going to really go through the scale shapes too much, but um, I'm just going to move quickly through this the best that I can, uh, at a comfortable pace, I guess I should say. It's kind of a long run. So, to recap what we have so far, we've got this. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back up into here. And we can do this a couple of different ways. I might be able to hit my B note here. go into a nice pedal steel type of a bend. So if I map this out slow, one more time, I'll play that comfortably. Now, where the variation will come into play with this one is, admittedly, sometimes if I'm going that guy, sometimes I might not hit this and I might roll it instead with my third finger flattening. Example would be as opposed to and that would take place also here by rolling or you know, that kind of option. So there's a few things that you can do to vary the pattern. cool lick that we could play combining a bit of everything there. So, let's check this thing out. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this segment of our Lick of the Week. Stay tuned for next week. We'll have some more fun.